Hi guys, I love Mick Lynch. He's a wonderful speaker and he's a perfect representative for the RMT union. So he was interviewed on the News Agents podcast where he was asked about his interactions with different secretaries of state for transport and it seems our old friend Grant Shapps came in for the worst of criticism. Mick explains the fundamental problem with politicians being put into jobs like this but also how the public have been force fed the idea that they're somewhat competent simply because they're Tory politicians. Have a listen to this. Are there any who have particularly stood out, that have been particularly impressive, who dealt with you well? Or well, are they, or are they stood out because he was completely incompetent, arrogant, and a bit of a prig, the, the polite term. A prig? Prig. To be absolutely precise there, a prig with a G. Yeah. Um, and he's arrogant and had no knowledge of what he was doing. In last, what way? Two what was... weeks ago, he asked, what's, what's the purpose of the Royal Marines? And the Telegraph was foaming at the mouth. But w- in because what he, way? Knew, he knows nothing about the railways. I doubt if he's ever used it. He knows nothing about the world of work. He hasn't run a business. You know, you get this image that Tories are full of people that know about business. This is essentially a person lead, leaving, leading, leading a double life. He hasn't had the responsibility of running an everyday railway with millions of passengers moving about and he he carries the responsibility he's got so lightly and so uh, uh, shallowly that you've got to say this person is irresponsible now Mark Harper I think is of a different character but he's still stuck inside a, a different parameter but he's he's astute enough to know I don't just go around bear baiting trade union leaders who he's got this view of that they're all thick and a who? bit useless chaps chaps yeah <laughs> chaps we keep coming back to Grant Shapps. Now, why was Grant Shapps put into a position like that? I keep coming back to this. Rishi Sunak and before him Liz Truss and before her Boris Johnson, these people wanted to maintain their position. So they surrounded themselves with idiots, useful idiots, people who were not really a threat to them. Now, of course, when Boris Johnson eventually resigned as Prime Minister, the knives had already been sharpened. But... When he started out, of course, he put people into positions of power that would not really threaten him. And Grant Shapps is not a threat to anyone. But the problem with that is that he is incompetent. And he's not smart enough to realise, OK, I don't know what I'm doing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to people who do know what I should be doing. I remember some years ago when Barack Obama won the White House and one of the first jobs he did was he was putting people into positions of power who actually knew what they were talking about, who knew what they were representing. So for example the Department of Energy was run by a scientist. I'm not expecting politicians to, prime ministers or whatever, to put experts in charge but at least put people into positions of power where they're humble enough to know that, okay, I don't know everything about the railway, for example, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to surround myself with people who do. And when I meet the likes of Mick Lynch, I'm going to respect him because he knows more than I do. Now, we don't have to agree on everything, but we have to. there has to be at least that respect. And, of course, that wasn't the case. Grand Shapps was insulting Mick Lynch and insulting the trade unions every time he was on the media. It was about running them down, saying that they were against uh, modernization, lying about them. When Mick Lynch had to come on and correct the record or correct Grand Shapps' record, because Grand Shapps, of course, was not interested in telling the truth. So the, the railway is something fundamental. It's a fundamental piece of infrastructure for society. So you need to have people who actually know what they're doing, or if they, if they don't know what they're doing, at least surround themselves with people who do. And I think that's a fundamental pa- problem with Grant Shapps. But Grant Shapps is now, of course, Defence Secretary, and he has no idea what he's doing there either. And I can imagine generals are, are tearing their hair out at the moment. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.